Does this box set run 4% slower than it should? Has the 2005 Children in Need special finally been restored? How does the new upscaling look? Does it have new menu screens? And what is the precise resolution of this set? Over the next six minutes, your questions answered. After my last video went out, I ended up feeling like I'd let you down. You see, this brand new Doctor Who Blu-ray box set, which combines series 1 to 4 and the specials in a newly upscaled version, appeared on my doormat, and I was so excited to show you how it looks on the outside, I forgot to tell you anything at all about the inside. And as we all know, the inside can often be much bigger than the outside. And judging by comments, that certainly is the case for you. Quite a few of you have been holding out from pre-ordering this because you're genuinely not sure how much of a real upgrade this is from the previous Blu-ray sets. Here's the thing, I am not much of a file and that is kind of another reason it wasn't my natural instinct to put in a disc and go hmm does that look better than this or that but this channel may be called Jason Arnop's terrifying house of obsession but that doesn't mean it has to be solely my obsession in fact my number one priority as a youtuber should be to cater to your obsession so coming up I'm going to deliver answers to most of your questions straight from the mouth of an official source I'm even going to give you a snippet of new information that you didn't ask me for but which I think you'll appreciate exterminate the like button if you approve of this behavior because after my last video came out and people were asking me about the upscaling or the resolution i was kind of saying well, i'm not really a cinephile this is not really my area of expertise but then it occurred to me in the middle of the night well why don't i just ask somebody then i know lots of people in doctor who so why don't i actually go to the source and ask one of the people who was involved with this release but i did that i reached out to what we call an official source i haven't managed to find out whether this is region free or locked to region b yet but if you find out after Monday when this little baby is released then let me know in a comment and I'll put a post on my community chat board here at YouTube the number one question you asked me I think was how does the upscaling look and again I've been so excited to get my unboxing video out to you that I hadn't even put a disc in and played one if I put video footage on this channel I'm in contravention of BBC copyright and you end up with a copyright claim possibly even a copyright strike and I don't want to go down that road now I know that what I'm about to initially say here isn't all that informative but this looks really good to my eyes it looks great I don't have the previous blu-ray sets so my closest bit of comparison comes from this old DVD box set which is series one to four in standard definition and this of course was the first time we got series one to four in one home media package while making this video I actually experimented with taking terrible still photographs of my TV set to try and compare images from my old DVD set with the new blu-ray set as you can see the results are just laughably lo-fi but hopefully you can at least get a vague idea of the uplift in quality you'll be happy to hear that from question two onwards we're shifting away from my subjective opinions and moving into objective facts supply by my official source many of you were very technically specific about what you wanted from this box on a technical resolution level you wanted it to finally be and I'm totally not reading from a piece of paper here don't think that for a moment 1080 slash 50 I this box set is indeed in 1080 slash 50 I so how do you feel about that, eh? I'm happy about that. I was I was really insistent that that's what it should be. <laughs> By the way, I don't mean to belittle anyone who's into this tech stuff, more to disparage myself for my ignorance. You also asked about the menu screens and whether this set has new ones. I don't think so, even though I can't be sure, but here's a single photograph of the menu screens so you can tell me down in comments. You wanted to know if the 2005 Children in Need special with David Tennant and Billy Piper had finally been restored because apparently previous disc releases of this special had replaced Murray Gold's music with some kind of temp track and also replaced the sound of the cloister bell with some kind of alarm clock. I know. I've been able to check the Children in Need special. It's on the first disc in this set, in this set. And so I simply put the disc into the player like I should have done in the first place and used my eyes and ears to find out the truth. For the sake of comparison, I went back and had a look at the version in this box set of the Children in Need special. And that version did indeed have some kind of basic sort of temp score and had replaced the cloister bell with an alarm clock. I wonder why that happened. Does someone own the copyright for the cloister bell or something? But in this version, it's been restored. Yes, as far as I can tell, the Children 
Everyone in Need special is back as it should be. The music is back. Murray's music is back. And that's great news, isn't it? And then at the end, I was all eagle-eared listening out for that bell, and it sounded good and proper, that resonant cloister bell that you want to hear as broadcast. Now, I'm sure there's probably going to be all kinds of niggly things that come out when this hits the streets, but let me know. Let me know down in comments if I'm totally right about what I'm saying here. But to my eyes and ears, it has Murray Gold score, and it has the cloister bell. Yes! Does this box set run 4% slower than the broadcast versions? And apparently that was the state of play with the previous Blu-ray sets of these series. And this may have been a sacrifice made in order to make the box sets universal. Does this box set run 4% slower than it should? And the answer is no, it does not. It runs at the correct speed. My official source has confirmed this and trust me, they should know. It runs at normal speed. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you that extra snippet of information, didn't I? My source tells me that all of the titles and captions on this set are new HD versions, interlaced in the UK box set. Also, various name misspellings and all of that kind of stuff have been corrected. So if you've been holding off from pre-ordering this on the grounds of not knowing what speed it is or what resolution it is or just how it generally looks, then you'll find a pre-order link downstairs in the description box of this video. If you haven't watched me unbox this beast yet, then you'll want to do that right here. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to embrace your obsession.